to a new video you may be able to notice that i am being slightly quiet today and that is because i do not want to disturb the ponies that are around me in this area um i've been having quite a few bad mental health days like not bad bad but i've just been feeling a bit low the last few days so i wanted to come out today and go to my favorite area of dartmoor where i am now and basically spend some time looking at the ponies and photographing the foals um, this is my first Dartmoor photography, oh there's a bee, my Dartmoor foal video of 2023 and they start, start being born about April, late April, May time into the summer and so that is why I am here today. Uh, somebody just beat their horn up pony, good times. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm doing today and it's basically going to be a little, nice little calm Dartmoor pony foal video, really cute. That is my aim anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy today's video. Okay, so I just thought I would talk you through the, like, um, com composure? Compo- oh my god, I can't say it. Composure. Compo oh my god composition that's the word i was looking for of a photograph i've just been taking um so basically i'm shooting towards like the bridge and like upstream so you can see the stream if i hold it i basically be shooting through this gap here um because one of the ponies has just walked like over along the road over the bridge so it's led to um i've been like framing it with the is this heather or gorse? This, the yellow, the yellow flower plants. Um, because I really want to work on my, like mixing up my photographs a bit more to like, not just take a photograph of a pony, but to get like a story behind it and to make it like advance my photography basically um, since last year when I basically just spent the whole, um, all of my time here just going a bit crazy because they were so cute and I was just in love with every single pony. Um, this year I want to um, level up my photographs basically so I've just been trying to take a photograph through there um, I'll show you the composition in a second um, the pony's gone now because I was busy concentrating on photographing it and not filming um, but I'll show it to you anyway and I'll show you where it walked okay so if we just basically I was taking a photograph through here and the pony was if you can see the white bit in the oh that's handy, a car's just driven through. Basically where that car was is where the pony was. Um, and I took a photograph of it. I have also, um, I'm not, I've never seen, um, in like early mornings I've seen rabbits here, but I have just now seen a rabbit go through one of the holes in the stone wall, which is quite exciting. Um, it was too fast, so it was gone before I could even take my camera out. But it's good to know that they're here and maybe he'll come back out of the ball in a minute. Oh, look, the little pony's over there has put his head up. He's he's very young, that one, actually, I think. Is he going to stand up? He's thinking about it. Yeah, that one's maybe the youngest one here. This is another fun shot through the gorse that I've just got. If you look straight ahead, or well, you can see it directly, there's a pony um, currently being framed and staring basically straight at us through the gorse, which is really nice. Had to wait for a car to go past in the background, but yeah, that's the one I just got.
back in my cart for a second, um, mainly because there's a guy doing like wedding photographs for a couple, um, which I've never, I've never, uh, never seen that before here. Um, but that's happening. Also, I wanted to talk for a second because if I turn my, if I turn all the way around, um, there is some. I think they are mares in this area here. That's like on the other side of the wall, basically. Um, that I think is part of the farm maybe i'm not really sure but they can't they can't get out of there basically um and on this side of the wall is that one there is i i it's definitely male i don't know if it's like a stallion um but they they they're all basically all the mares are white at the wall um basically saying hello to him um which has led to some fun photographs of ponies on the other side of the wall, what I'm calling Forbidden Romance right there, um, very Romeo and Juliet of the ponies, um, but yeah that is what I've been shooting, um, there was also a guy with a drone, never seen that before, um, never seen a drone before, that was exciting, um, so it's never quite that busy here but I guess Tuesday 11am is the time to be here, um, so I am, I'm probably not going to stay much longer because I've been here for at least an hour and a half, two hours at least here and it's it's about an hour and a half drive back anyway and I want to get back for some lunch but I think I am just going to do a final walk around the other um, foals that weren't on the other side of the bridge but that I photographed before I actually started today's video um, and I'm just going to talk about those for a minute and see if there's any other shots to get there. Um, and I'm definitely going to come back here again before the end of the summer. I mean, it's May right now, so I'm definitely going to be here before September again. Um, but maybe there'll be a, a Pony Paradise photography round two in a few weeks' time. There definitely will be, because I love ponies. Um, but yeah, let's go and see the final foals uh, before heading back. If we just ignore the side of my car, but this is the pony I am calling Romeo of the Pony World. There's all his new friends. He's having a great time. I'm not sure about them. <laughs> video this out there but then the people who were getting engagement photographs I believe they were they were discussing a wedding and the guy was definitely like a photographer that they were trying out um not sure why they chose well maybe they want some shots with ponies um anyway they they started coming around the corner and I was like ah oh, yeah I'm <laughs> if I stand here I'm gonna be in the middle of the engagement photographs that's probably not the best thing um they were wearing flip-flops which I thought was a interesting choice for people who wanted their wedding photographs on the moor because it was quite boggy like my my yeah my my walking boots are like wet um <laughs> because of the bogginess and also there's quite a lot of like horse poo around um but each their own um so I'm gonna finish the video here I have had a very good morning I'm feeling way better now um and I'm also, I think I'm quite happy with quite a lot of the shots of like through the gauze and the composition of some. Um, I'll put up some photographs I took last year as well. So as like a comparison, um, I last year I kind of went a bit pony and foal crazy and just concentrated on all the foals and was like taking pictures of them because I love them so much. Um, <laughs> but this year I kind of, I want to focus more on improving the quality of my photographs and like the composition and actually working on like the storyline of each photograph etc etc um and so I think I have done that quite well 
today and with the photographs I've got. It is now quite hot and um, I need to take this jump off in a minute because I'm starting to boil to death. But I hope you have enjoyed today's video and there will definitely be a part two or round two of Pony of Pony Paradise on the Moors photography. Um, oh, uh, a funny thing I just saw um, as I was walking back to my car there was um some of the ponies were like at the side of the road and this guy stopped and he beeped his horn at them um which i is not like i don't think that's definitely not recommended you just wait for them to move out of the way anyway they, he beeped his horn at them and the, the ponies immediately moved to completely block the whole road um and so so then he was a bit like stuck because they, they, he like beeped at them and they just moved more into the road which i thought was really like instant karma went and got him for that um but yeah so that is a fun story and i hope you have enjoyed today's video uh if you have please like and subscribe because I, it would be nice to have more subscribers um go and see also my instagram for some more photographs and if you want to like see more of the ponies that i shot today um there might be some more pictures on there uh, depending on how many that i reckon are good enough um but yeah i hope you have enjoyed today's video and i will see you all next week for another video